StoryCorps has been collecting the largest library of human voices ever, giving Americans the chance to record a conversation with a loved one. Those conversations are archived for future generations at the Library of Congress. And this morning, ABC News is proud to announce we will join TED, NPR, Facing History and others, partnering with StoryCorps in their most ambitious project ever. For the last 12 years, StoryCorps has recorded 100,000 people recalling life-changing moments. How did you meet Dad? Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm telling you this. I did a lot of bad things. Ordinary people living ordinary lives, choosing to share stories that get to the heart of the matter with loved ones who asked questions and listened. It's kind of the opposite of reality TV. Nobody comes to get rich, nobody comes to get famous. It's this act of generosity and love, and it's about listening to someone and letting them know how much they matter to you. The son with Asperger's asking his mother if he was the son she wanted. Did I meet your expectations? And You've exceeded my expectations, sweetie. The project even got a presidential push. Barack Obama lending his voice and sharing memories of a childhood without a father to a younger generation. As I get older, I start reflecting on how that affected me. How do you think that affected you? You kind of learn right and wrong on your own terms. This fall, ABC News will join StoryCorps in what we are calling the Great Thanksgiving Listen to honor an entire generation of Americans over a single weekend by inviting high schoolers to record an interview with a grandparent or another elder. It's so important for us to understand where we came from, but even more important is to connect with the people who matter to us in the moment. And here's the best part. You don't need to find a StoryCorps booth to do this. They recently released an app which allows you to record StoryCorps interviews on your cell phone. To learn how you can get involved in the StoryCorps project, go to our website, goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo.